Ooh, hey, morning, Evie. Hope you're doing great. Oh, it's a wonderful morning. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. And we're here in Helgen, in our new place. Let's go sit down at our bench and enjoy a lovely breakfast. An assortment of green leeks and rabbit haunch and whatever else we got over here. We got, let's see, uh, some che cheese wedge, green leeks. Uh, rabbit haunch, red apple, and plenty of water to last us throughout the day. There we go. I don't think there's any animation for when you're sitting down when you're eating, so whatever, we're just gonna skip on with it. Let's go ahead and get out of here and move on with our day. First of all, gear up. We gotta gear up immediately. Try a cloak, and I forgot to put on my helmet. And there it is. There we go. Now we're ready, now we're set to go out and continue adventuring throughout Skyrim. In a way. For now, now that Helgen is good and red and set and ready, we're just gonna let Helgen be Helgen. Oh, look at that! We actually even got a carriage that can take us places. That is really nice. So as Helgen continues to be repaired, we'll go and help out every now and then. You know, we'll go do some repairs here and there. There's a taxidermist. We can talk to them. They're doing a weird jumping thing. Hello, taxidermist. Such a weird glitch. <laughs> anyway. Let's go and continue with Dongard missions that we haven't done in forever. I feel like it's only fair for us to continue with Dongard for now. Speak for Fog, Firebeard, nope, Macra Wolf, New Order, uh, Recruit Serene Gerard. Let's go ahead and do that, right? That's, I've told Ishran what I learned of the Vampire Castle. Ishran has asked me to find Serene Gerard. We pretty much uh, recruited Gunmar, now we gotta get Serene. Uh, City on the Hill. See Reinhardt and Falkreath about Lumber, Mahokra Wolf. Uh, speak to Falk Firebeard. I've confronted and stopped a group of necromancers attempting to summon Potema the Wolf Queen in Wolf Skull Cave. I should return to Falk Firebeard with the news. That is a quest that I've yet to complete, which we should be completing pretty soon. <laughs> we should be working on that. Maybe go somewhere else. But let's follow with a new order for now. Let's go do Dongard. I have, I've completely been neglecting Dongard for a while. Is this it over here? Recruit Serene Gerard. And this is Karthwasen. Alright, so let's head over to Dra Dragon Bridge. And from Dragon Bridge, we'll head over to Karthwasen and see if we can make it to Serene Gerard. Or we'll just follow down the river over to Serene. So let's go to Dragon Bridge. And from Dragon Bridge, we'll head over and find Serene Gerard. See if we can get Serene Gerard to come back to. Or at least be recruited by Dongard. I think there were members of Dongard, they just. Are doing the thing right about now. A lot more capital cities are being attacked more and more by vampires, but Helgen has been luckily been avoiding all the attacks simply by being a new city by default. And it's nice and dark. I think we should probably camp out here or at least go rest here for the night before adventuring out into the wilderness. That's probably a really good idea. Let's go inside, see ears. if we can rent a room. I'm not all ears, really. Just want to go into four shields right now and just, you know, get some rest. Some people may find the resting and being hungry and thirsty mod a little meticulous, but I really but I personally really like the immersion of it. Fate is the name. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay then. Thank you, I appreciate it. Huh? Are you gonna show me to my room or okay, I'm finding myself then. Yes. Is it this one? It is. All right then, let's go and close the door. There we go. Uh, which bed do we take? Nope, not this one. We just take a little single bed, and there's a little coin purse. I don't know why people leave coin purses around. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> I kind of like if you leave a curb coin purse around, I'm probably gonna take it. You gotta realize that. Why would I not take it? It's lying around. Nobody really cares for it. Obviously, somebody obviously somebody left it there for a reason. So yeah. Let me know if there's anything else you need. I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, you know what? Let's have a quick little, quick, quick little snack, quick little breakfast, quick little, I guess, more brunch than breakfast. Something nice and steady, like pheasant stew. Wow, pheasant stew is not recognized yet. Uh, spoil? Nah, let's not do spoil. Pheasant stew and red apple for a nice mix and sweet roll for the morning, and have some water. We're still a little hungry, but I think we'll be all right. We have plenty of food, plenty of water. We had a pheasant stew. I don't know how that. Is not how does that how that doesn't satisfy hunger? Temporal eats a lot. I'm not even kidding you. Temporal does eat a lot. It's a, a little ridiculous. Where's our horse? There it is. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Let me quick save. 
Right, Chocolate? We're gonna adventure out forth into the wilderness. Eevee, make sure to follow us. And let's see if we can get there without a hinge. Travel lantern turned off. There we go. Now we can head over there. Hello, guards. Let's see, what's the best way of traveling? I wonder if we'll be able to travel along the river. Like maybe through like a hill or like through the hills or something. If that's gonna be possible. Alright, chocolate. Quickly get us over the water. Having a horse is so convenient because ho while horses are swimming, as long as they don't go under water, I should be completely untouched and shouldn't worry about uh, getting, you know, soaked and freezing out here. Heavy fog rolls down valley of the reach. Alright, so we got a fog and we gotta be careful here. We got some horses. Uh, not horses. Wolves. Let's go ahead and deal with them real quick. Come on, get on my side. Nope, not, I don't want to. I don't care for wolf belt. Come on, get on my side. Wolf, get on my side. And a bear attacks. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and kill the cave bear then. Kill the wolf. And kill the bear. Oh, he lets us auto, auto loot once we kill something on a horse. Alright then. Well, I think we'll be alright. As long as the horse doesn't get attacked, we should be all peachy and good. Let's go through here. We'll dealt with the enemies, we'll dealt with a couple of beasts. They're nothing for us. I mean, we're a hunter with several really good, sharp, energized, you know, imbued weapons. So we should be fine. Could have got, got out there and probably, like, taken the hide, but... It's not really... It's not really... We're not, we're not out here to hunt right now. We're here... Well, we're here to hunt, but for a different target, different prey. We're here to hunt for... Looks like a specialist in taking out vampires. I wonder if he can climb up a hill over here. And get around this way. I wonder if that's a possibility. Also, another great reason for having a horse around is because horses, especially like this geared out horse that is ready for the mountains, are gonna be great to traversing different heights and stuff, which is gonna be fantastic for what we need here. Let me just check the map, make sure we go in the right direction. Alright, we are not really going in the right direction, but we're not going in the wrong direction either. We will be like making a pass around. Which won't be a bad idea either. Let's see if you can follow the pass around. Eevee's probably lost somewhere behind. I think it'll be alright. And it starts to rain and get kind of cold. The horse is wet, but I think it'll be okay. Let's get around this way. Right, Chocolate? Just through the mountains and through the trees. And hopefully we can get through this without worrying too much about things. Oh, God. Alright. I'll back off. You back off. We both back off, we both don't bother each other. Sounds good? Okay, great. Let's just go ahead and avoid each other. So a couple of bandits over here, a couple of... Okay, there are a couple of, not bandits, but uh, what are they called? Forsworn, that are out here. P probably protecting their own sanctuary, their own village. So I'm gonna let them do that. I'm gonna let them do just that. And I'm gonna just worry about myself here. We're entering the mountain area. This is This area is usually not that safe because I mean we got we have force worm sometimes we'll have spiders maybe bears got looks like an orc encampment which will take which we can probably check out sometime later but I feel a little safe knowing there's some kind of civilization here that we could possibly try to establish contact with and granted I did upgrade them with a the mod so that might be nice nor Krasgur discovered we should come back here sometime later but for now let's head over and find our missing person and we got a cougar over there kind of want to see if we can take out that cougar see so we got a couple of cougars actually all right then well they're chilling back looks like they don't want to make enemies i wonder if you can just go around them and avoid conflict let's go around the let's just go around them for now let's just go around them and see if you can avoid any conflict see right now the cougars are not out to hunt they notice me they see me they're not gonna attack me. They're just out to rest and probably to lounge around. It's it's very early in the morning, so I doubt they'll want to hunt right now. <laughs> Look at me trying to speak like a specialist on animals. Anyway, if they have the behaviors of what I think a regular cougar would have, they're not out here to hunt or to attack. They just want to kind of be in their own surroundings and not be bothered. So we will not bother them and avoid any kind of conflict possible with them. And I think Eevee actually caught up with us. Yeah, Eevee did catch up. Nice, awesome, Eevee. All right, follow us. Eevee's getting good at following. Like, I know we travel really fast and really far all over the place, but Eevee is able to catch up, and that is good. That makes me feel safe. We got a trusty fox companion with us. Okay, let's head down here and look for our target. Looks like we might be able to find him or her. 
It's like a little encampment. Oh, there we go. There he, she is. It's a she. All right, hello. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I'd swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. Well, just look around, will you? Um, okay. Oh, well. Somebody told me in comments that apparently if you look around and try to find the gyros, it should be easy to work with this girl. Dormer Convector, nothing here. So let's go look around here and see if we can find something. Uh, what have we got here? Some Dwarven arrows, I'll take those, because why not? Gyros, gyros, gyros. Let me see if I can get a nice third-person view on this. And look for the item. Supposedly this gyro should be here somewhere. Then I near the water, I don't think. Unless there are near the water. What is this over here? Serene Satchel. Dwarmer Gyros. Oh. I think we'll be able to find a way to get this person recruited faster if we give her the gyros. Hey. Just one gyro. One and I can get back to work. Where are they? Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So, if you'll excuse me... Um, I'm about to threaten all of Skyrim. Uh, we need your help. You had a falling out. Uh, clearly there's a problem, and I think she might want to talk about it, so let's ask her about the falling out. Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? Mm, they have the Elder Scroll. Yeah, you know what, that's actually something important to mention to anybody that is dealing with vampires. They have the Elder Scroll, I'm not sure how they can use it, but it sounds like an important thing. And vampires should be the last people to have it. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, this run is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. Alright. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Um, I have all seven, actually. Uh, here, I got a dwarven gyro. Take it. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Now, we're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Mm-hmm. Also, can I give you the rest of the gyros? Apparently can't. So I guess mm -hmm. I'm just... Running around with a bunch of gyros with me. Alright then. Uh, let's head to Fort Dongard. It should be right over here off the side of Skyrim. Right outside on the border. Let's head back. It's probably under another attack. Knowing Fort Dongard is probably under attack from these guys over here. These guys right here. I think. Maybe right here. Eh, whatever. The guys that you're seeing. The big vampire dude. Okay, uh, for Dongard, for Dongard, where are we at? Okay. I think if, if the waterfall is right here, the lovely waterfall is right here, I think we gotta head over in this direction to find the actual ford. Let's go look for it. Eevee, come on, boy. We're gonna look for the ford. Hello, elk. I'm not here to hunt you for today. Today, we're hunting a bigger game called Vampires. Yep, that's the ford right here. That's good. Found that. Hmm... What can we go from? Well, I wonder what the, what the, I don't know. 
every possible i'm trying to replay different scenarios of what we can do right with dawn guard how far we can go with dawn guard but every part of me says that i don't know every part of me says we're gonna have like an epic war or something or i don't know maybe we'll have to fight serana hello can i be let in or no all right then i guess uh let's set up the gates then or at least I didn't see the gates before. Let's close them behind us in case vampires attack. Good job, guard. Keep guarding. Keep on keeping on. Go for it. Oh, God. Oh. How do... Uh, Where did I get crossbow... Like, bows from? Huh? Nope, you don't know anything. I wonder if they're still around somewhere inside the dawn guard. Or somebody can give us... Somebody can vendor them off or something. Because that'd be nice. I need some crossbow bolts. That's what I need. If not, I'll probably have to search like a Dwemer Ruin and get some bolts from there. I know that's one of the ways to get a lot of bolts is to kill those uh, guardians that have the crossbows attached to the arms. That's one way. Let me quick save and let's go inside Fort Dawnguard and report in. And continue working with Dawnguard to hunt down the difficult prey of vampires. <laughs> difficult prey that are vampires. Surprisingly, they're very easy to fight once you know what you're doing. <laughs> And I'd rather deal with them than Draugr, and spiders, and bandits, and zombies. And the gate closes. What's going on here? Alright, Isra. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So, welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with it, shall we? She's gonna make a new crossbow design, and then he's gonna arm up some trolls? Well, this isn't exactly a palace, is it? Yeah. Well, it's sturdy, secure, and seems defensible. Agreed. I suppose I'd rather be here than most other places in Skyrim. Isran needs me. Must be pretty bad. Agreed. I wonder what we're up against here. I wonder if she can give me the crossbow bolts. Do you know anything about the Dongar? Teach me how to make crossbow. Uh, what can? What do you have for sale? Yeah, can you teach me how to make a crossbow? A basic one, of course. That is, assuming you know anything about steelsmithing. It's pretty simple. Talk to Gunmar if you need materials. Okay, so we don't really know much about it. Uh, what do we got for sale? Here's everything I have. Sorry there isn't more. If you got any bolts I can buy, that'd be wonderful. What do you got here? Uh, steel bolts, 142 of them. I want to buy all of them. Yes, beautiful investment. Silver amethyst ring. Incendiary potion grenade. Yeah, my be something interesting to get into and cure disease potion which is always lovely to have water skin that's always good spell tome sunfire ball of sunlight that does 25 points of damage to undead what else do we got here nothing too useful no i think we're good now all right see ya mm -hmm. thank you for all the crossbows they're gonna be very useful uh, for me and my endeavors let's go ahead and equip our crossbow with us now that we got the bolts needed for it so where do we where are we heading over to uh, let's check the journal real quick. Prophet, follow Isran. Where did Isran go to? Isran went, uh... Where did he go? He's up there somewhere. How do we get upstairs? Let's see if we can find this. Also, there's a weird glow around my helmet for some reason. I don't know why. Is it because of the helmet? Probably because of the boss helmet. Nope, there's some kind of weird glow. I don't know what it is. It's a weird glow around our face or something. It's kind of weird looking. Do you see it? It's a weird glow thing. I don't know what it is. It's like we're drug or like half drug or something. It's kind of weird. You know, just, just with that, I'm just going to wear my helmet. 
just because I feel kind of insecure about it. <gasps> Doggies! Hi! Hello! Hey, Gary! Hey, Bran! What's wrong? You want to go uh, do some, uh, go hunt down some vampires? Come on, boy, let's go. <gasps> oh, I can get, I can get a dog. Evie. Oh, God, Evie, we'll talk about it later. Hold on, I don't want to upset Evie just yet. I feel like if I'm going to upset Evie now, Evie just going to run away from us. I want to make sure I get the multiple followers mod and see if that works. Just Dayspring Canyon. I wonder if that's the right way to go. Probably not. Are we going the right way? Probably not. It's gonna probably make us go around, like turn around and go back inside. I'm trying to find where the guy's upstairs is. I never, I never been around this fort ever. Maybe been here like once or twice, but that's it. I know nothing of where everything is at. There are always human castles in Castle Volcanar. I have no idea what else. <laughs> they kind of cut me off short there. Got some more crossbows here. We got a Dongar war axe. Which looks pretty sweet. Oh, more steel bolts. I'll take all those. Got some nice equipment over here. That's pretty sweet. Alright, let's go ahead inside. We got plenty of bolts. We got 161 steel bolts to use, which is going to be great. And if uh, our girl that provides, our, uh, uh, provides us with bolts can make a better crossbow, a more, a more, I guess, reinforced, more powerful crossbow, I'll gladly buy that. We got 74,000 uh gold to spend on it and to invest and to drop as an investment onto her so I'll be fine with that let's go ahead and turn on the lantern Evie there we go I'll here's one thing I like about Evie if it was like a giant dog or a bear companion I probably would not be able to get around uh, the companion but since it's Evie I could just jump around on the side which makes it a little easier and you know what I feel like Evie understands me better um, now that we're able to communicate properly and when I ask Evie to get the hell out of the way, Evie gets the hell out of the way, which is beautiful and wonderful. Is this the way to go, or is this just another tower entrance? I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend forever just trying to find a way to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, there he is. There you go, buddy. Alright, so who are we gonna interrogate here? Oh, Serana! Oh, she's back! Oh. So let's hear it. I didn't know she was back. That is new. You know what? I feel like that's a pretty good time to stop. I'm gonna stop right here before we interview Serana and talk to her and see what's up. Glad to see you're alive and well though. She got the scroll as well with her, or with her on her back, which is awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Uh, thank you so much for watching the episode. I know it's a major cliffhanger, but what can you do? My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.